What's going on, guys? It's 5 a.m., a little after 5, and, you know, I couldn't sleep, so I'm going to start a new series called The 5 a.m. Rant. This is going to be volume one. I figured you'll get the real uncut, uncensored Vince at 5 a.m., because if it woke me up this early, and I actually get up at 6 every morning, but since I'm up at 5, I said, hey, let's start a 5 a.m. rant. Anyways, what I want to talk about today is why people choose to fail. Because it was, I literally was having a dream. I was just saying to myself, really, Vince, what is it that has allowed you to, you know, absolutely crush two different companies and um, get great results online, build a marketing company, thousands and thousands of members, you know, market products and sell thousands and thousands of dollars worth of products. And how do I do it? Okay? And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm just seriously woke up this morning like, what is it that allows me to do these things? All right, so, you know, I was really thinking about it, and I realized that most people quit. You know, most people are quitters. Let's just be honest. I mean, I've sponsored thousands of people in the businesses, and I'd say some of them quit. Why? I mean, they see that I'm getting results. They see other people on the team getting results. Why do they quit? It's because the minute someone feels the slightest bit of rejection, the minute, the, you know, it gets a little tough, people naturally tend to quit. And that's why you see a lot of things happening in our economy, in our society. Okay, the economy changes, you know, the, you know, something happens in the market, people freak out and they quit. Same thing with me. When I was in the real estate industry, the industry collapsed. Did I quit? Did I say, okay, that's the end of the world? No, I found something else, you know, struggled, kept fighting and told myself that I was never going to quit. So if you want to get results, you cannot quit regardless of what it is that you're doing. You just can't quit. And if you quit, it's your choice. You chose to fail. Okay? You chose to get the end results that you're getting. All right. So, you know, why, why people choose to fail? Okay. Most people don't spend the 10,000 hours needed to become an expert. And, you know, some people try to make this industry out to be, oh, you know, you can spend four hours a day, live the lifestyle you want. That's true. But I guarantee you, every person that's making six and seven figures in this industry, they put in a ton of hours and they work their butts off every single day. At least I can speak to myself. All that four-hour workday stuff, you know, although I don't consider what I do work, I wish I could spend four hours. Actually, I'd probably be miserable if I only spent four hours a day because I love what I do. All right, so you're going to have to put in the work. I've been full-time with industry from, since 2008, and I literally am doing something related to my business seven days a week. I mean, whether that's talking to a client, working with programmers, developing the next product or service, uh, you know, that's just what I do. And, uh, you know, so, you know, I've hit my 10,000 hours and literally once I got close to that number is when I really started to have major breakthroughs. All right. And, and that's what you want to do. If you want to be an expert, you have to hit that number. Okay. People analyze everything. They never take action. I actually posted this today on Facebook. People analyze everything. Oh, when, how much money am I going to make? How much money did you make? All these questions. You know, um, you know what is the product going to do? And all these things that actually have nothing to do with their bottom line. If you were to go get hired for a job today and they were going to pay you a six-figure salary and they were selling, I don't know, a material that they use to create, to mold plastic. I don't know, something just off the wall. You wouldn't say, well, how is that product? Or what is it in the product that they use to mold plastic? I don't know how I came out with that. It's five in the morning. But my point is, you don't think about that. You just take action. They give you this what to do. They tell you how to make sales. You get in there and you do it because they're paying you. Okay, I'm not saying you don't find a company with great products. But if you're going to make money, you have to take action. It doesn't matter what the product is. Uh, you have to literally stop analyzing every little thing and really just try to just get in there and just start to take action. All right? The last thing, people have a wait and see mentality. Okay? The wait and see mentality has hurt so many people over the years because they wait and see to the point where they wait and the opportunity is no longer there. Oh, I should have purchased Google stock. Oh, I should have invested in Apple. Oh, I should have done this and done that. Or oh, if I would have bought that house, you know, in 2001 instead of 2008, I wouldn't be upside down right now. Okay, it's one of those things that I want everyone to understand who's looking at this and is not, is that a lot of the things that occur in our lives is because of the actions that we take. Okay, so we can control all of that. All right, 
So what is the solution? I didn't want to just come here and, you know, have my morning rant and, you know, tell everybody what they should or shouldn't do. All right. But the first thing you want to do is not quit. Don't quit. Would you tell your kid to quit? Okay. Would you tell your wife to quit on you? Okay. Would you tell your boss to quit on you if you're working for a job? So why do you quit when the going gets tough? Okay. That's when you want to push through. Make a 10,000 hour commitment right now to your business. Are you committed for the next 10,000 hours? Okay. Plan to fire your boss and plan to build your business full time. If you're not planning to have success, you're essentially planning to fail. Okay, so you have to plan to build your business. You want to get out of that job you hate, you have to plan your exit strategy, which means you need to make XYZ amount of sales, which means you need to generate XYZ number of leads. Okay, do something every day. All right, if you don't know what to do, mirror someone that does. I had no idea what to do. I thought I was going to come into this industry, utilize some of my, you know, mortgage uh, marketing strategies, and, you know, that might have worked, but it didn't work. You know, I went and I said, look, I'm going to find a mentor, and I'm going to mirror exactly what they do, and I started to get great results, okay? It didn't happen overnight. In fact, it didn't happen for a long time, okay? But it started to happen once I started to get the breakthroughs. You know, there's certain laws, and there's a reason why people aren't all rich, Okay, it's because they, like we just talked about, most people quit. Most people aren't willing to put in the work. You know, I was looking at the, the Forbes magazine that I purchased on my last, um, I just went, got back from a, a trip, and in the airport I bought a Forbes magazine. It had the, you know, 400 richest individuals in the world. And it had an article about how long it took them to get there. And it took them over 23 years for, it took Warren Buffett over 23 years to become a billionaire. Now, if I were to tell you, you know, for those of you who have 23 years left, if it would take you 23 years to become a billionaire, would you say, okay? And most of you would say, yes. I know I'll take that. Hey, I'm, if that's my path to billions, then, then fine. Because I don't want you to wait to become a billionaire and then jump on board. Don't wait for me to become a billionaire and then jump on board and then say, oh, I'm ready to go. You have to start building your business brick by brick today. Brick by brick today. And it's not going to be you blasting you have the greatest product or service on your Facebook page. It's not going to be you blasting, you know, your friends and family about some opportunity. It's going to be by you showing leadership and trying to develop a system that not only creates duplication, but exhibits every single day the passion that you have to grow and get better. See, if you're not getting better and if you're not offering anything other than, hey, this is a good opportunity to your leads and to your customers, your business is not going to grow. Okay, you're going to look like a person that's just looking to bring people in just so you can make the quick buck. And that's not what this industry is all about. This industry is not about getting rich quick. It's about getting filthy rich the next 24, you know, to, you know, one or two years. All right. The next 12 to 24 months should be your plan to how you're going to literally grow your business. And like I said, you're going to grow that business brick by brick. All right. So hopefully that solution will help you. All right, and the last thing I want to talk to you about is just market your passion and find your why. Okay, do what you love to do. If you love this industry, then you want to do it. If you don't love it, it doesn't matter what. You're not going to get the results that you want out of it. Find something that you love to do. And business is not for everyone. Everyone's not made to be extremely wealthy. Everyone, some people are made to have the bank accounts that they have because of some of the things that we talked about. Okay, maybe they're not willing to help enough people get there. Okay, if, you're, if you want to help more people get there, you have to be willing to help yourself. And how do you help yourself? You follow leaders and you grow. Okay, once you're able to grow, you're able to help others. And the more people you help, the more money you're going to make. Okay, so find your why. For me, my why was simple. I mean, I, was not, I already made the decision in my life that I was not going to quit. I have a philosophy, like I live here, there's a lot of cool things out there, and there's no reason why I couldn't have them. As long as I'm on this earth, I'm going to work my butt off and do the best that I can in everything that I do. And if that means I'm a billionaire, if that means I'm a millionaire or a thousandaire, whatever, that, then so be it. But I'm going to strive to be the very best person and the very best that I can be. Okay? And I love playing, I love playing the game of life. Because you can always get better, and you and you really control your own reality. Okay, it was it was it's just something that I live by. So my why is to help other people essentially get what they want out of life. You know, I believe life gives you several chances, 
And if I can help one person, and it's one out of every hundred people, then I've done my job. That's my goal, to really help everyone get the results and really realize that they hold a tremendous amount of power to grow. All right? So I hope you enjoyed my 5 a.m. rant, volume one. And I will see you guys on my next volume one. All right? Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.